right so I'm not real happy with these um, lines I engraved into the pipe um, I'm a bit unsure about them to be honest I'm not really sure whether to keep it like that or use some of these plastic strips and eventually attach fake rivets um, I'm a little bit torn on it to be honest on what to do um, partly because well the strips are flat and the pipe's round obviously and it doesn't sit flush against the pipe it leaves a gap either side which I suppose I could fill but what I'm going to do to try and help me decide what to do which way to go is I've got a bit of the same plastic on my bench here I've just put a bit of tape on it to hold it in place I'm going to get my heat gun out see if I can heat it and give it a little bend over the edge of my bench and see if it'll eventually form around the pipe a bit better um, so I'm going to get set up and give that a go I think yeah I'm a bit undecided on what to do here right so where did I put it there it is I've had a go with the plastic and it, it put more of a bend on it than a curve on it I had to uh, cut out a bit of a groove I suppose to allow it to bend a bit more but at the same time it folded rather than curved so I'm not really convinced on that I'm not happy with that at all so I'm going to put this idea to the side for now I'm going to go simplify it I, I, I always overthink things but I'm, a, I'm just going to use cardboard do the same thing and use cardboard so I'll start doing that I guess So you can see. Right, yeah. It's wide enough I think. Uh, as you can see it's just a bit short at the top but I'll just piece another part in and hopefully with it being cardboard I might be able to squeeze it round a little bit and uh, get it to conform to the shape a bit better. Anyway I'll switch the camera off for now and I'll work on getting these done alright so I've got some few strips cut and I've just curved them a little bit between my fingers you know give them a little bit of shape and uh, see about getting them stuck on to cover up them land there uh, them panel lines or whatever I engraved got it right lovely so I shall do the others off camera I suppose some for the lid I mean you can probably see it ain't perfect but I don't care well 
I've got strips all the way down the main body, strips on the lid, and eventually I'm going to put rivets, or fake rivets anyway, all the way down. Um, yeah, I do have a tendency to overcomplicate things, hence trying to do it with the plastic. I'd love to have done it with the plastic. I don't know why. I really wanted to do it with this plastic stuff, but it just won't. It was proving harder. It was proving to be harder than it was worth when I could do the same thing with uh, strips of cardboard. Um, I mean, let's, let me see. I mean, the cardboard is all but half a mil thinner than the plastic, so it really won't make that much of a difference, I don't suppose. So I'm quite pleased with the progress so far. Um, I have like a booster thing for the bottom. Just a minute, I'll grab it. I actually know where it is. Now, I've got the choice of these. They're both similar sizes. But I do like the texture on this. I think painted up, maybe brass or copper or something like that. I think that would look really cool. And it's got space to put something on the inside maybe. Um, I'm looking around to see if I've got because my original plan was to do that and I may still let's see do something like that but I may want to I don't know I might want to stand it off a little bit um, but I need to see if I've got a bit of tube I do have this copper pipe which is practically the perfect diameter but it's heavy and I mean all right I don't need to use the full length of it so basically I'll put a bit of pipe up there hopefully that'll stand and have it stand off a little bit like that if you can see can you see something like that um i quite like the idea but i'm not sure how well this would stick to the plastic so maybe i don't know i've got some of this stuff it's basically what you feed your electrical cables through. Could I do it with that? Do it with two bits? I don't know. So I'm going to have a rummage around and see what I can find before I uh, actually decide what I'm going to do. Uh, I mean, I did say I like that one because of the texture, and I do, but I've also got the option of this funnel. Um, again, very light, same as this one. Um, but then it would mean cutting this off, this bit where you hang it up, whatever. Do I like the lip? Oh, that might work. I'm just thinking while I'm talking to you, that might work for something on the inside. Again, I've got that little bit to cut off, but nah, it's all right. I'm going to work on this bit first. Right. Back in a minute. Though. I forgot to press record. Anyway, all I've done, really, at the minute, is uh, cut a little bit off the spout, whatever you want to call it. And now, 
that could sit in there and it protrudes just beyond this bit which I think is quite nice so what I think I need to do is find a way to stick that into that hmm. problem is there's not much glue in area so it's going to be a little bit tricky we'll see right so a bit of a plan plastic disc glue that onto there and then once that's on there into there now I know that doesn't give any more surface area for the glue here but once that's on there glued on there and then glued on there what I'll do is I'll mix up a lot of that uh, epoxy and I'll just pour it in and that should hold it I'd expect everything's well this I've sanded this um, because once it's in once it's in there I won't be able to get to that bit to paint it and you've got to you've got to sand these sort of things to get rid of the shininess so the paint will stick so a little bit more sanding and uh, I'll get to gluing Yeah, I'm not overly confident that that would hold brilliantly. So, like I say, once everything's sort of super glued together, I'll uh, pour in some of that epoxy stuff. I mean, that feels pretty firm, but I'm not going to rely on it. Right, back to sanding. Right, so... I thought I was thinking on a bit all these parts obviously at some point are going to need painting now with that in there like that there's no way I could have really primed and painted it so what I've done you didn't need to see it I suppose but I've, I've taken them out and I've primed them up um, what I'm going to do now before I actually put these two bits together permanently is I'm going to get some paints out and uh, paint them. These are going to be done by brush, so um, I'll get that done once they're dry. Then I'll um, glue them together. So, all right, I'll get my gear and crack on. Right, so I'll leave them to dry. They're going to need a second or coat or so. And uh, once they're dry, obviously, I'll give them another coat and uh, show you the results. I'm going for a cup of tea. <coughs> right, it's been a while since I've done any work on. 
um, this project. You know, being at work and stuff. Um, I've got, it's hard to show you, but I've got them, I suppose, the basics of it done. I'm thinking now I need to start uh, kind of decorating it. And I've got a couple of little ideas, but I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, if I'm honest. So, one thing I do want to do is add rivet type things to each of the black strapping bits. So, what I've got is I've got a bunch of these plastic cap things that you'd usually hide a screw in. And I'm just going to glue one on. every so often so i'll probably put that into time lapse and i'll get on with that now yay <clears throat> all right so as you can see a bunch of rivets on I love rivets or fake rivets or whatever I think they add a lot to it they just break up that plainness anyway um, like I said I'm kind of struggling I've got a few rough ideas of what I want to do but I am kind of struggling oh great paint all over my dremel I am kind of struggling on what to do so if you feel like it, feel free to leave a little comment on what you'll do. And you never know, I might take on board one of your ideas and try it. Alright, so I've just been sat faffing for a few minutes with a couple of bits I've got. I've got this plastic ball. I've got this bit of pipe. And I'm thinking, I'll have to do a bit of trimming and fitting, but plastic ball, pipe, it's hard to rock it. However, I'm not 100% sold on that idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to faff about with this. Whee! I'm going to faff about with these for a bit and get them fitted together um, see what I can work out and then if I like the look of it maybe attach it to the main body but I don't want to glue anything to the main body until I'm happy with what I've got so I'm going to give this some thought and have a little faff about I mean I could put it onto the body that way or something like that not sure I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it's gonna mess all right so a little quick update all I've really done is I've uh, literally hot glued that ball onto that pipe and uh, I don't know trying to work out whether I like it or not also so I mean regarding this uh, there's that way I could possibly do it or I could twist that little bit of pipe doing like that I think personally that's pushing it out a bit too far but then again I could take that bit off do that I don't know I'm going to leave it but what I'm going to ask you to do is tell me what you think tell me what you think I should do with this whether I should use it or not at all also, the other thing I want my dream put with, clearly, these are plumbing parts. The ball I'm not so fussed with, 
at the moment, but these piping, I feel even when I've painted it, that it's still going to look like plumbing. So, what do you reckon I should do with it? Cover it somehow? Or get rid of it? Help me out. Do me a favour, help me out. I'm getting a bit of bloody uh, maker's block with this part, I'm telling you. Uh, another quick update, the bottom of the hat, rocket, whatever, is done. Uh, this, if you remember, was a basic plastic cereal bowl, I suppose, that I've painted. And then with an inner part, which was uh, a funnel, again, just painted and hot glued in. Um, I actually quite like this um, let me show you again it will somehow attach in there it's not bad quite happy with that if I'm honest so I'll put that all the way so I don't damage it because I probably will right what's next I don't know because I'm still wondering what they hell to do. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking about throwing a coat of primer over the uh, main body and over this. Because I think when there's so many different parts, it throws me off a bit. So if I get a coat of primer over it, it might just unify it, and I might be able to see it a bit, cl cl a bit bl see it a bit clearer. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, so I've got a bit of a grey primer all over it. It has unified it a bit and it's a little less confusing for my brain. Um, I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, I'm going to it down for a bit and see if I can think of a few ideas and ways to uh, decorate it and steampunk it up. I already know the colour scheme I'm going to go with for it but I feel like I'm a little way off that yet. It needs more and I also I also need to work out a way how to um, attach these two together should I just glue it like that or should it be stood off a bit I'm thinking more or less glue it like that that's what I think but like with everything else if you want to give me your input I'll happily take on any suggestions so I think I'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, I'm going to put it all down. And I'm going to give it a bit of thought. Right. <clears throat> One thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and put a bit of swirly type pattern in here as if it was a decorative copper plate for argument's sake. So what I've done is I've cut a bit of cardboard that will curve and fit into that. And I'm gonna see if I can draw some sort of design on it, cut it out and put it in. See how we go. Might need a little bit of internet reference for this. We shall see. Right, so like an idiot, I forgot to press record, and I've actually I actually had an idea of uh, something to add to the uh, main body. Right, if you've not seen the other video, um, I described that in the top of the main body, I've put a, a clear dome. It's half a Christmas ball uh, that I'm going to put uh, these lights in. Anyway, I thought for somewhere on the main body, 
old man another light thing so I came across this I have no idea what it is um, but you can't it is actually sort of translucent let me see if I can show you it does allow quite a bit of light throw I mean even just one of those bulbs in daylight does let it glow up a bit it's really difficult to see but if I put all the little bulbs in you get quite a nice effect so what I've done is I took a bit of PVC pipe very roughly shaped, shaped it to fit around the body of this um, any discrepancies which there is a lot I'll maybe fill with uh, a bit of milliput or something but as you can see it more or less fits so that'll I'll get another set of lights similar to these and I'll put the battery pack inside the tube the cap will be glued on there and it'll be something like that and hopefully with the top illuminated which I can't do right now it might look okay so that's what I've been working on without filming it for you because I'm smart like that. So I'm, at, uh, I'm actually quite happy with this extra light detail that I've got going on. So I am going to go ahead and glue these two parts together. A lot of this is quite rough. There's going to be a lot of rough edges, I'm sure. But I'm not bothered. I learned a long time ago. Well, I, wish, I think I've learned some time ago that nothing's perfect, really. And I really need to stop being so hard on myself about the things I make. And just try and, for a change, enjoy, great, enjoy making whatever it is I feel like making. I know my tastes change quite a lot. I do loads of different things. But it is what it is. I don't care. I never said that this was a woodworking channel. I never said it was a model making channel or whatever. All I ever said it was it's called Steve Maker and I make things and I like to do it a bit different. Anyway, that's that glued on. What I'm gonna have to do is, uh, I don't wanna do this bit. I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the main body when I decide where I want this bit to fit on for the, um, string lights to feed through uh, yeah I really don't want to do that <laughs> I'm going to have to though because I've put a lot of work into that I know it doesn't look like much but I have put a lot of work into it and um, oh it's just one hole Stephen it's just one hole yeah Let's do it. I've decided this is going to be the best, the front face. So this is going to go roughly there. About, oh cat, <laughs> about a third of the way up or so. And it, that'll get glued on there. Now the, the joint between 
this part and that part there's, there's gaps in it but I'll probably just fill that with a bit of Millie put or something um, again I'm, I'm trying not to be so uh, anal about stuff and just have fun and enjoy what I'm making so I'm going to get set up uh, the first thing I've actually got to do is drill a hole through there to eventually feed the lights through it excuse me so I'm going to get set up and do that alright right, I've got to admit this bit is a little bit nerve wracking because I have done a fair bit of work on this so I'm hoping I don't screw it up <laughs> One hole. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but you know when you put a bit of effort into some, it matters because that drill bit could have flown off anywhere. Book the whole thing. Now just a quick test fit. Yeah, they go through nicely. I didn't want to do a hole bigger than necessary. So I think what I'm going to do now is um, feed, the wire, feed the lights through the hole and test it. you have it I mean that's pretty bright ignore the lights at the bottom I haven't fed them all through yet I just wanted to uh, feed a few through to test it but I'm gonna turn the light out it is daylight outside the wind is behind you but I want to see what it's like I mean, this is just a few of the bulbs that I have available for this. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot brighter on camera, I must admit. It is a lot brighter on camera than it is to my eye. And also, I do have masking tape over the part I don't want painting at this point. But yeah, that I am really happy with. Um, uh and oddly enough, it's even you can't see so much on the top, but it's actually glowing through the masking tape at the top. So I think my next job is to glue that to the body. Uh, yeah, glue it to the body. Right, so I got a bit carried away on myself and I forgot to hit record. I've glued that on there, uh, quite happy with it. There are some gaps, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, there are some gaps. So, what I'm actually going to do, because I've just used a bit of super glue on this, and I really don't think it'd stand the test of time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of super glue around it again. Hit it with the activator and then I'll mix up some uh, milliput and put a bead of it around it and see if I can shape it to look like a weld or braze or something like that and it'll hide any ugly gaps so I'm going to get on with that now. Right, so as you can see, maybe 
that's got a bit more glow around it might hold it a bit better but I am still going to do the milliput around it I'm not trusting that completely I think just as a static piece like this it would be absolutely fine but I do plan on actually wearing this when I do steampunk events with my girlfriend and stuff like that and if anyone was to knock it I'm fairly certain that the super glow is brittle enough to uh, crack off so I'm thinking I'm hoping that adding a good solid bit of milliput around it will uh, help strengthen it 